Sark the Gemara, Lama Tesem Aleph. Good morning, everyone. Gahatanya. Support. Benichusa. What's the support? Tamim Shahotunin, Yasotunin, Kibus, Machshav, Malas, Behenva, Maila, Mehen, Bechot, Schayev. We don't mind Spoch and Lama in Tunin, Kibus, Ven, Machav, Shme, Machshav, Mola, Behen, Vamala, Behen, Bachot, Pater. So we're talking about the remnant blood, the leftover blood. So we said that the leftover blood goes on the Mizbeach. The leftover blood that goes on the Mizbeach. It needs to be washed off if it gets on your clothing. And pigol is going to be a problem. And if you bring it outside, it's going to be a problem. But the stuff that's poured down the canal, which we'll see what that is in a second, that doesn't need to be washed off. Pigol is not going to be a problem. And if you bring them outside of the base amigdash, you're going to be pater. Man shamas le'dom and malam hen b'chutz chayv. Who's the one who says that the remnant blood, your chaya for outside, and therefore, again, it's going to need kibos. Rabbi Nechemi, he, v'ka'amar ta'un kibos. So that's approved there. Rabbi Nechemi is the one who holds that the remnant blood, the leftover blood, does need, in fact, to have kibos if it gets on your clothing. Umach shavam, while it's the Gemara says, is pigu really a problem by that blood? V'hatanya, but the Gemara says, yatsu shirayim v'aktara se'morin she'en ma'ak v'nes ha'kapara, that the blood remnants, the leftover blood, is na me'akiv the kapara. She'ain machshav amayelas mehen. Seemingly, therefore, since it's not ma'akiv the kapara, seemingly the pigo will also not be a problem. If pigo will not be a problem, if it's connected, then it's only going to be a problem with pigo. If the machshav, it's only going to be a problem with pigo. If it's ma'akiv the kapara, if without it, then there's no kapara. So then seemingly this remnant blood, which again is not ma'akiv the kapara, seemingly machshava should not be boyelas mehen. Therefore, it can't be that the first part of the b'risa, damim ha'tu'unin yisod, is talking about, according to this, the remnant blood. It's not the remnant blood. It's not the leftover blood. It's a higher level of blood. The higher level of blood is the blood of a chatas. And we said that there are three non-essential applications of the chatas. That means you do the chatas, but there are going to be certain applications of the chatas of the blood that if you don't do it, it's not going to be ma'akev. But that's three. still, what? The last three. The last three. But it's still going to be a higher level than remnant blood. And therefore, when it says a dam matunin is so to unin kibus, that's talking about the dam v'machatas, which again would be on a higher level than just the remnant blood. Kitan yai b'shalosh matonos shabachatas, and therefore enachanami the dam of the remnant blood would not, in fact, need kibus because it would be on a lower level. Yachi to unin yisod lekaren azli. So why does it say if it's talking about the chatas blood? Why does it say that it goes on the mizbeach? It actually goes on the karen corner of the Mizbeach, the Karen of the Mizbeach. So why does it say it goes on the Yesod? Says the Gemara, Ema nit'an in Yesod. You're right. The blood of the Chattas goes on the Karen. But at the end of the day, the leftovers go on the Yesod. So it's not talking about the leftovers. It's talking about the blood, which if it has leftovers, will go on the Yesod. A little bit of a stretch. But at the end of the day, it's talking about the blood of the Karen. Therefore, that blood is the higher level blood, which, which needs a kibos. But the leftover blood, the remnants, would not necessarily need a kibos. And therefore, we have no proof for Rabbi Nechemia. Says the Gemara, Umar Shava Mo'elas Mahan. Is it true that it's going to be a problem of Pigol? Is it going to be true that it's going to be a problem with pigol with this blood? Ha'amars lo sharinan, that this blood does not allow the meat to be eaten. Velo mefagla, there's no pigol. Velo ayla legave kisofan. And it also doesn't invalidate a korban if it comes into the heichal. So seemingly it sounds like the three or three non-essential applications, that blood is not in fact going to need to have kibos, which you just explained it would, because at the end of the day it sounds like it's not mepalgin. You said that that blood, whatever that blood of kibos is, it's the one that's going to have pigol. Says Gemara, ela kitani hibidamim hapnimim. You're right. We're talking about a special blood. It's talking about the blood of the inner chatos. Of Abidam Achitzon in my putter. So now we're learning Dami Matuun in Yisod is talking about Dam of the inner Chatos. That's the one that's going to need Kibos. We have no more proof about the remnants or anything. Now we have the Dam of the Dam Anishpach in La'amba, the Dam that goes down the canal. That'll be what? That'll be the outer Chatos. The Chatos that's brought on the outer Mizbeach. That's the one that'll be putter, that'll be on a lower level. Says Gemara, Detani Dumim Shanishpach and Laam and Liflog Velisni Bidida, but Medvar Mur Medama Pnimim of Abadama Chison and Pater. Says Gemara, I understand. Doesn't make sense. If you're telling me that one of them is Dumim Hach Pnimim, the other one is Dumim Hachitonim, so why don't you just say that in the, in the brace on top? What are you saying? Dumim Hatun in Yisod versus Dumim that what? That goes down the canal. Just say, Dumim that is the Pnimim one, that's going to be the higher level, the Dumim of the Chatas that's thrown on the inner altar versus the Dumim on the outer altar, which is not going to 
be a serious. Says Gemar Hamani Rabbi Nachami Hidamar Shiare Hadam Shekvirim Lachutz Chayev. Saying no, that's not the comparison. Yes, the first one is the dam of the chatas of the pnimi. The second one is not the dam of the chatas of the pnimi, according to this mandamar. Why? Because at the end of the day, this mandamar holds that the dam of the chatas of the pnimi does in fact have pigul and does in fact malab and bachutz. I'm sorry, or malab and bachutz will be chayev, and therefore it's not talking about the dam of a pnimi versus a dam of a a chut, it's talking about a dam of a pnimi versus dam that became invalidated, a korban that became invalidated. But for our purposes, either way, we're not talking about the remnants. If we're not talking about the remnants, we have no proof. But it comes out according to this that the first case is the dam of a pnimi, the dam of a chatas pnimi. That's going to be the dam that's tuned in your sod, which needs kibos, which has pigol, and malab and bachut is going to be chayev. And the other one is going to be a dam of an invalidated <coughs> korban, which in fact will not need kibos, will not have pigol, and malab and bachut will be potter. What's Pnimi mean again? Pin, I think it's Pnimi, is the, the, the chattas that's being brought on the inner altar. Inner altar. Says the Gemara, Ravina Amar, Mina Karen Mamish, Mina Yisod, Mina Roy Li Yisod. So the, Mish, the Gemara says in the Mishnah before that was quoted, that if it's Mina Karen and Mina Yisod, ain't no town kibas. If it's blood from the Karen or the Yisod, it doesn't need to be washed. So now Ravina says, Mina Karen means mamish. Only blood from the Karen mamish. Blood that happened to have touched the Karen, that doesn't need kibas. But if it was blood that was rawy to be brought on the keres, on the Karen, what's that? That's blood of these non-essential applications that in fact would need kibas. Mina Yisod is Mina Royly Yisod. But for Yisod, it means anything that's Royly Yisod, i.e. the leftover blood, that would not need kibas. So it comes out according to this that the leftover blood would not need kibas. And the blood of the chatas would need kritas, would need um, kibos. Amar le'rav tachliva bar gazel ravina ema aidi ve'aidi raihu. Maybe both of them are right. That means why are you tell me that when it says mina karen or mina yisod don't need kibos? So you're telling mina karen just means blood that touched the karen, but blood that was fit for the karen does need kibos. And mina yisod doesn't mean blood that touched the yisod. It means blood that's fit for the yisod. It should be equal. Both of them should either be that touched the Karen, that touched the Yisod, or that's fit for the Karen and it's fit for the Yisod. Says Gemara Haimai, Hashta Roy Le Karen Amartalo, Roy Le Yisod me by El Mina Karen Karen Mamish, Mina Karen, Mina Karen Mamish, Mina Yisod, Mina Roy Le Yisod. It can't be that when it says Mina Karen that it's fit for the Karen. Because what? Because if it meant that if it's fit for the Karen, i.e., it's the blood of a Chattas, and just blood of a Chattas that's non essential, that if you don't do it, it won't be Ma'akev, it's obvious that if you say that that blood doesn't need kibos, so then for sure the leftover blood doesn't need kibos. So the fact that it's telling me that neither one of them need kibos, the Gemara says it must be a Chiddush. It can't be that it means the leftover, it can't be that it means that the non essential blood doesn't need kibos. And the remnant blood also doesn't need kibas. That's obvious. So it must be that when it says minah karen, it means only dafka touching the karen, but the non-essential blood would need kibas. And the blood that's the remnant blood does not need kibas. That's how the Gemara learns. The only the non-essential blood that you're going to spill on the, on the Mizbeach. No, he's saying that if you have these, these, these bloods, you're going to spill on them, but you're going to spill them on the Mizbeach. But if they're... But if you end up not putting them on, it's regular blood of chattas, but if you end up not putting the last three, if you don't put them on, then they're not going to be ma'akif. You're not going to put them on them. It's, it's, it's you're not going to you're not gonna sprinkle them. If you don't sprinkle them, then they're ma'akif. So the question is, if that blood, if that blood ends up, can that blood have people, if that blood gets on the, oh, the, the remnant, if that the blood, that you didn't spill on it. it you there's a seven, that right. means you have the seven, and then you have the leftover blood. Right. So we're saying that the three, if those three well, drop, if part of that blood, which is supposed to be the three, get on, then it's going to have to be washed. If the leftover blood after that, then it doesn't have to be washed. Tana Rabbanan. Better hurry up. We're done in two minutes. Tana Rabbanan. Ve'asa kasher asa. What? Ve'asa lapar kasher asa lapar chatas. Ke'en ye'asa lo. Ve'chipera lehem ha'kohen v'nislach lahem. Says the Gemara. Ve'asa kasher asa. Ma'am ba'lil mode. What does this come to teach me? So what does it say? It's telling me that there's two kasherasa, there's really three. There's three asas. What's the three asas? They need to A, have haza, you need to have sprinkling. Then it's telling me that if you're missing any of the sprinkling, it's going to be puzzle. You're not going to get kapara. And then it's going to tell me something else. 
So not just do you need to do the sprinkling. The second verse is if you don't do the sprinkling, it's going to be ma'akev. So there's two different sprinklings. There's a seven on the paroches and the four on the inner altar. So maybe if you only had two asas, you would say that you have to sprinkle. And if you don't do the sprinkling on the seven on the parochas, that's going to be ma'akev. But if you don't do the seven, if you don't do the four on the inner altar, it won't be ma'akev. So it says, I saw another time that all of them are ma'akev. The sprinkling you have to do in general, and then the sprinkling on the parochas is ma'akev, and the sprinkling on the inner altar is ma'akev. Talmud Lomar Kain Yaseh. So what's Kain Yaseh? Lapar. So Talmud Lomar Kain Yaseh. So therefore, the third Yaseh tells me that even the matandalit is Ma'akev. La par, what's the par? Ze par yom ha-kipurim. Short off. Kasher asa la par, ze par kohen Mashiach. So you have the par of Yom Kippur, the par of the kohen gadol who made a mistake, who sinned. Ha-chatas elu si'irei vodas kochavim. That's the par of the Jewish people if they all worship the vodas zara. Yachol shani mar be'af si'irei ha-ragolim u si'irei rashi chadashim. So you might think that I'm going to include the si'irei of the ragolim and the Seire of the Rashi Chadashim, Talmud Lo Mar Lo. So it tells me only Lo. What does that mean? So again, it says, Kein Yaseh Lo. It's only the things that are going to be Ma'akev, only these and not other things. So again, you don't have the power, if you have, if you miss the sprinklings of the power Yom HaKippurim, or the power of the Kohen Gadol who makes a mistake, or the power of the Seire of Odes Kochavim, or the power of Helem Dabr Shel Tzibor, all of these things, if they don't do the sprinkling on the parochas on, on the Mizbeach Hazav, so then the Maisa, uh, you will not get the Kapara. So, Yachol Shani Mirabi, you might think that I'm also going to go ahead and include the Si'ire Haragalim and the Si'ire Rashi Chadashim in this. Yachol Shani Marbaf, Si'ire Haragalim, Si'ire Rashi Chadashim, Talmud Lo Marlo. Only those are Ma'akev, only those are really brought on the inside. The Seir of Regalim and the Seir of Rashi Chadashim are not brought on the inside. They're not considered to be Chattas Pnimios. And therefore, if you don't do all the applications, it will not be Ma'akev. Says the Gemara, how do we know that? It says low in the Pasuk that only these things are Ma'akev, only these things are sprinkling on the seven and the four are Ma'akev, but not for the Seir of Regalim and Seir of Rashi Chadashim. How do you know that low excludes those and doesn't exclude those? Umara Isa Larabo says, Elu Lhotzi es Elu. Since it says low and it's clearly going ahead and it's excluding certain things, Marba Nies Elu Shemechapin Alavera Mitzvah Yadua. Umotzi Ani Elu Shein Mechapin Alavera Mitzvah Yadua. What does that mean? That means that the par Elim Davar, the par Koren Mashiach, the par Sirei Avodas Kochav, and the par Yom HaKippurin are mechaper on things that we know about. They're mechaper for certain sins, and we know what the sins are. Either they all served a vote Zara, or the Kohen Gadol forgot a ruling, or the people all did something wrong. We know what the sin was, and we know that all the people did it. We know who did it. Rather, look at Rashi on the left. Umotzi Ani Shoregalim, the second line of Rashi over there, if you do it on purpose, you get curries. Or you get another punishment, love. If you do it by accident, you bring a chattas. There's a special korban here, the siire of regalim and siire rasha chadashim, amongst the other things that they do, their mechaber for somebody that goes into the mikdash when he's tame, who eats tahor stuff kodesh when he's tame, but never knows that he did it. So these are meant to be mechaber for people that don't know what they did. Therefore, since it's a different category, it's mechaber for sins that we don't even know, that people don't even know. So since it's mechaber for sins that people don't even know, and people are not going to know, it's on a lower level, and it will not, in fact, be ma'akev. Says the Gemara, vichy per. What does vichy per mean? Afa pishelo samach. These ones which are ma'akev, the sprinkling, if they don't do smicha, it's not going to be ma'akev. And nislach, ava bishalo natan shirayim. And even if you don't put the leftover blood on the mizbeach achitzon, it's not going to be ma'akev. Says the Gemara, ma'raisa lifso ba'azos lahachshir b'smicha v'shirayim. So why, in fact, is it ma'akev if you don't do all the sprinklings, but it's not ma'akev if you don't do smicha and you don't put the leftover blood on the mizbeach achitzon? 
Amarta posel bihazel shema akwas bechol malkum, because there's a precedent that in other places the hazel will be ma'akev. Where is that? We'll see in a second. But we know that there's a lot of places that in general, smicha is not going to be ma'akev. Rashi says, smicha lo ma'akeves ba'alma. Smicha is never ma'akeves. And shricha shirayim is not ma'akeves by chatas is in general. So therefore, they're not going to be they're not going to be um, they're not going to be ma'akev here either. Which, where do we see that there are korbanos that it's going to be ma'akev that is that, that's going to be ma'akev the haza amar mar ein li elamatan sheva shema'akvos bechol malkam which one is it hecha what is it amar papa bepara uvenegayim Rashi says bepara vehizal nochach pnei ol moed bechasov chuka leikuva it says zos chuka satayra according to him the reason it says chuka satayra by the paraduma is to tell you not just that it's a chok that we don't understand the reason but at the end of the day the haza is a chok and that you need to do the sprinkling no matter what and if you don't do it it's going to be ma'akev and binigayim it says belog shemen shal mitzora vihizam in hashemen be'etzpao it also says zos tia toras ha mitzora zos chuka satora zos tia toras ha mitzora is a gzera shava therefore when it says zos tia toras ha mitzora it means a chok as well and therefore it's a chok that they also need haza and therefore since you see that there's a chok that these need haza, we're going to extend it to our case that if you don't do the hazas by these chatas, you're going to be ma'akev. But if you don't do the smicha and you don't do the shirayim on the mizbeach, it will not be ma'akev.